Hey guys, Ron from the uh, Yellow Jeep Project. Last time I did a video we installed some uh, nice IPF lights my buddy found at a thrift store for dirt cheap. So we got those installed, but one of the things I really want to do is I want to take care of these white uh, covers. I think they're the white doesn't really work for my Jeep theme here, the yellow and the black. So you know what? We're going to paint these suckers black today. All right, here's what we're going to need for this project. Um, I got a, obviously the light cover there. I've got an old juice bottle that I can use to uh, kind of hold it on to keep it off the drop cloth. Obviously you need the drop cloth, which is important. Uh, I've got some good painter's tape there, high quality stuff, and I've got some really nice plastic uh, outdoor paint that should uh, keep it uh, nice and black. All right, first thing we need to do is we need to tape it up. And so I just have taken some of this uh, painter's tape and I've gone around the inside um, of the light cover because I really didn't want to get on the inside because this thing is um, slides on and is just held on by its own structure. So you gotta be very careful not to, uh, not to get paint on the inside of it. There's these little, right there you can see one, these little kind of pieces of plastic that just kind of stick out that hold the light shroud in place. There's another one right there, a little better view of one right there. And that's what I want to be very careful not to mess up because that's how the light covers stay and hold on to the actual light. So we'll uh, finish taping these all up, get everything on the inside all done up, and then we will start painting. Okay, here's a shot of that little plastic, these little plastic pieces that are inside. We want to be very careful not to mess those up as we're doing this project. All right, let's get started with the paint. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. Shake the paint good and let's go. All right, we're gonna let those sit for a little bit. We'll come back, give them a few more coats, and uh, we should be ready to go. They're definitely gonna have to sit overnight before we get them on there. All right, coat one is on there. It's not the cleanest spraying uh, spray I've ever used, but it uh, should do the job here. Uh, we'll put a couple more coats on, let it sit overnight, and then we will go ahead and uh, put them back on and see how they look. All right, here we are. Actually, 48 hours later, um, we have our paint on here. Let's try to get a good look at it here. So, I think what we're going to do now is uh, go ahead and take off the tape, and I think we'll be ready to go to mount these suckers. And then we can take a look at how they finally look. I'm trying to get a focus for you here, but uh, anyway, look pretty good. Not too bad, you know. Not great. Got a little dust, but. You know, for where my Jeep's gonna go, I think that's probably gonna work. So let's take a tape off and see how we see how it goes. All right, here she is, all done. We got the black headlights on here, covers painted, look pretty good. So also while I was out, I thought I'd uh, pull it up on a rock, just check the flex of the Curry Annie rocks and everything like that. But uh, in the end, pretty happy with the paint job. So time to do some uh, wheeling. <laughs> 